So maybe you thought it ended two weeks ago. It still goes on and wonderful to welcome back our trumpeter, our violinist, our choir. We're still singing. We're still rejoicing. We're still giving thanks. Epiphany. Don't we like to tell people what they should do? <laughs> and don't we thrive on telling them where to go? The shepherds, if you remember two weeks ago, received this vision of angels that automatically led them to, to the birthplace of the light of the world. Then we come to the end of the season by speaking about magi, which comes from the word magician. Magician. Three people who were guided by a star, an astrologer, not an angel. But they ended up at the same place. They ended up at the major. They ended up giving thanks, giving gifts. And we have been given the most wonderful gift, a light, the light of the world. We might think that other people don't have that light. But I believe that there's, there's a light in each and every one of us Sometimes it might be very tidy, like a candle, just, just almost going out. But other times we might experience it almost like a chandelier that we're filled with such joy and such hope. What we're called to do as followers of Christ is to walk with people. Because if we say we're filled with the light, then if people walk with us, they might see the way. But we don't force them to walk with us. We can't force. God never forces his love. And we have in Pope Francis, we have in our Pope, who's called a bridge builder, somebody who speaks often about walking with others. Accompanying is the word he likes to use. Accompanying. I was reminded of his visit to Iraq in March of 2021. You remember he went to Iraq? Strange place for a pope to go. He was greeted when he got there by the prime minister, a Muslim. Iraqi flags were flying, Vatican flags were flying. He was welcomed by the president. He rejoiced that he was there amongst them. And he lamented with them the horrors that had happened in that place. He didn't disguise it. He didn't pretend it wasn't a place of great tragedy. But he also visited the place of where Abraham, and we describe Abraham in our first Eucharistic prayer as our father in faith, so shared by the three main religions. And he meets with the leader of the Shiite Muslims. So that's the Pope, that's the bridge builder that we have in Pope Francis. It doesn't usually work if we force people, does it? But it does work if we love. We can share something with somebody. We can't force them to take it. But hopefully our very presence, shining and being guided by the light that is within us, helps people. Yes, we do believe that we have the way, the truth and the life. And we've even, those of us here have all come to this day and this moment in time, each by our own route. Some coming late in life, some continuing from primary school, all very different stories. And so our story 
is precious to us. And so my hope as we journey into this new year, that the God who came at Christmas is the one who stayed. And so whether our light's burning brightly, he's still with us. Whether it's burning quite dimly within us because of whatever we might be experiencing, whatever life has thrown at us, hopefully we help for each other to fan that flame of faith. Not by preaching, so I'll be very quiet in a moment, but by accompanying, by loving, acknowledging that Jesus is the one who loves us beyond our wildest imaginings, who comes to share with us the Father's love, who invites us, like the kings, to worship, and like the kings, to know that we are loved. Please like, subscribe, or comment below.